Amen. God bless you. This is St. Rudy Henry for He Who Saves One Life Saves the Rose Ministries. You know, I want to say something about the Bible says judgment begins in the house of God. What's going on in the world and the church is God's wrath, judgment, and justice. It says what's in the dark is going to come out into the light. Oh, my Lord, it says what's in the dark is going to come out into the light. But I want to say this. Um, what's going on in the world, that world's going to hell in a handbasket. And sorry to say, um, a lot of churches and ministries and Christians ain't doing any better. Why? They're not obeying the Holy Spirit. They're not avoiding the flesh. They're not avoiding the world and temptation. They're they're just doing whatever they want. So they're going to, of course, they're experiencing God's judgment, judgment is wrath. But the but the smart Christians, man, we want God's smile. Keep God's smile in your life, and nothing. I'd rather have God's smile in my life than anything else. Not a car, not a house, not a job, not a, no. Those things, you know. Thank God for the goodness of God, but I don't want God's wrath, judgment, and justice on me or my family. So, we've been experiencing the abundance of the unfathomable love of God and blessing. I thank God in His grace, but I know this. I've learned at a young age. I do not want God's wrath, judgment, and trustments. Whew, I've, I've seen it. I've read it in the Bible. I've seen it in the world. I've seen it in churches and ministries, in the flesh. And it's time to obey the Holy Spirit and go hard for Jesus or go home. Amen. So uh, I'm just preaching the whole counsel of God. And God's love is just, judgment is just as real as his love. Um, that's who he is. So. I'm preaching the soundness of the doctrine of Christ today. So um, it's not by accident that I've been in ministry for a long time. And um, I avoid the flesh. I avoid temptation. I avoid the world. I, I, I say yes to the Holy Spirit and follow God hard and pray hard and give hard and worship hard and preach hard and live hard for Jesus. And just, just give it everything we got every day. Um, we cannot be secret service Christians, but I want to say this. Um, there's consequences to what we do. Yes, he's a God, but if he's having mercy and grace and, and compassion on you right now, he may not have it on you next week, next month, next season. So don't take God advantage of God and his love for you today. Please don't. Do not take advantage of God and his love and his grace. Uh, many people have, and they're suffering the wrath and judgment and the justice of God. That's what you're seeing in the world today. People who have rejected the call of God, and sadly, even in the church, they have rejected the call of God, and they just want to please men or please the world or please themselves. And, oh, my friend, I want the smile of God, so I'm going to keep making these videos. And, you know, I don't preach. I don't do this for money. I don't do this so... I, I leave the results up to God. As long as I'm good with God, it's all good. See, I'm, I'm pleasing to God. That's all. You should just be pleasing to God. Don't care what people say. Don't care what the world says, or whether they agree with you or not. I got to get a Bible study going. I've got to feed the poor and clothe the naked or get a prayer ministry. I don't know. You know, I've got to seek God or do whatever. You know, remember my... Uh, um, Remember what Jesus' mom said, do, uh, do whatever he says. Just simply do whatever Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is telling you to do, and you will avoid the wrath, judgment, and justice of God. I've been avoiding the wrath, judgment, and judgment of God for a long time, and I plan to do so. I like God and his mercy better. <laughs> you should do the same. Amen, Missionary Rudy Henry, for he who saves one life saves the world's ministries. Um, Jesus Christ is coming. I'm going to stay on this series for about another week, two weeks, probably the whole month. Um, this is the full counsel of God. Amen. Um, obey God. Please say yes to Jesus Christ today. Um, Jesus Christ is soon to come. If you're not born again, you can get born again today and get Jesus Christ in your life and get your sins washed away and your iniquities washed away and your transgressions. Or if you're backsliding, you can come back to Jesus and surely God will forgive you. But I want to say this. There are consequences to our to our lifestyle. Yeah. Especially Christians. Yeah. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ today. You know, I don't break God's law nor man. I'm good with God and good with men. You know, I don't mean that. You know, I'm not I've been in prison and jail and 
on parole. I'm not saying that in an awful way. I'm a real Christian. You know, when, when you read the Bible, you're he's a God of order. Yeah. I'm good with God and good with men, and boy, is it a beautiful thing today. I hope you're good with my man and good with God and be a beautiful thing in your life, my brother. Amen. I'm avoiding the wrath of God and judgment and justice and the wrath of the law and the judgment of the law and and of men, you know, I don't break, you know, I'm not doing it, you know, I'm trying to keep law, God's man's law and God's law. Because that's it. If you're a true follower of Jesus Christ, you do. But I say this for a reason, but I'd rather keep God's law. How much more God's law? Yeah. I'm, you know, the light onto my path, and the, it's a light onto my path. And that's what it says in Psalm 119. The Bible, the word is a light onto my path, a path unto my light, a light unto my feet. The Word of God is alive today, amen. Have a relationship with Jesus. Spend time with God. Spend time in the Word. Um, stay in God's face. Stay in God's face. We're, stay in union and communion with the Holy Spirit and continue fulfill the will of God. And I guarantee you, you will avoid the wrath and judgment and justice of God. That's what I've been doing for many of years and I'd rather have God's love and mercy and grace because there's another side to Jesus. Yeah. It ain't just, okay, I, you know, it's all good murder. No, no, there's another side. Yeah. Stay out of that side. Don't, don't experience God's judgment and wrath and justice, but experience his love and his compassion and his favor by what? Doing whatsoever he tells you to do. <laughs> Stay good with God, man. I'm good with God. Heck, heck yeah, brother. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ. And you can do that today. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to come. Missionary Rudy Henry. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm in every corner in front of bus stops. And I'm in parks. I'm walking around praying for people and witnessing and interceding. And I'm led of the Holy Spirit. That's all you stay good with God. You will, I've never seen anybody... Not stay with God that obeys Jesus Christ and the Word and the Holy Spirit. Stay out of the, because I'm going to tell you what's going on in this world today. It's going to hell in the handbasket. You want to know why? Because they don't want to listen to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. They don't want to, they don't want it. They do not want to do what God is telling me to do, telling them to do so. What do you think is going to happen? The, you have a choice to play. Partner with God. I'm in partner with God, like Amos 3 and 2. How can two agree unless they walk together for a long time? I get up and say, Jesus Christ, or good morning, Holy Spirit, or Jesus Christ, what would you have me to do today? And, you know, what would you have me to go? And do I rest? Do I preach the gospel? Do I make a video? Or who would you want me to pray for? Be a blessing of the Lord Jesus. I'm constantly in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And I'm constantly obeying God. When you stop obeying God, repent and get back to into obedience. Yeah. So if you're in rebellion or disobedience today, I don't know who you are. It's time to get right in the will of God and say, Lord, forgive me, you know, and forgive me right now and get back into the will of God. I don't know what that's spending time with God, reading the Bible, praying for the sick, casting out devils, getting on the radio giving out food, giving out clothing, um, just being still and knowing that he's God, taking a walk, resting, being a blessing to your enemies. Whatever God is telling you to do, just do it. That's how you stay out of the wrath of God. But how do I get into the wrath of God? By disobeying him. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. He says, my friend, you're an idiot. You're going to experience the wrath and the judgment and the justice of God. And that's exactly what's going on in the church and in the world. So many people are just, uh, the bottom is falling out because, you know, they want to do their own thing. And God never called us to do our own thing. We're, we're on God's program. I tell people, not on God's time. Yeah. When I, when I, when I, this is God's time. And when I used to preach the gospel, there, I said, Lord Jesus, this is God's call. This is God's ministry. I'm a man of God, not on God's time. Yeah, God will have mercy on you, man. Yeah, you do that stuff. I hope you don't. But yeah, don't do it in God's time. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, I do. And this is, you know, my life, my, my ministry is precious and time is, I don't have time for no foolishness. Yeah. You know, I don't have time arguing about this and fighting about that. And I'm going to, my Lord Jesus, my Lord, keep going forward. Keep your mind and your eyes on Jesus Christ today. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to come. I avoid all that. But I, I saw avoid the wrath of God. And um, the psalmist said, I don't exercise the matters too hard for me. If God ain't in it, I'm not in it either. I don't have no time. Yeah. I'm 43 years old and I'm running for Jesus Christ. And you keep your foolishness to yourself. Amen. That's why a lot of Christians and ministries have went under. Foolishness, my friend. Yeah. Stay in, stay in the face of God and press through like it's time to press into violent take give like there's no tomorrow and hate sin and get away from the world and like there's no tomorrow through the power of the holy spirit today sanctify crucify satisfy for jesus christ today amen and i'm telling you ain't nothing but the glory of the lamb of god i wouldn't trade my life for anybody i just couldn't dream of a life this good I just, I just couldn't, I'd live a good life, yeah, and I'm not trying, I don't break man's law, nor God's law, but how much more man, uh, God's law, you should fear the Lord, brother, yeah, you should fear the Lord, yeah, yeah, there's something called the fear of the Lord, and if you're doing, you're not obeying God, you don't fear the Lord, yeah, you're just doing your own thing, and you don't fear the Lord, repent, Get back on track and fear the Lord Jesus Christ. And amen. Missionary Rudy Henry here. Or Saint Rudy Henry. Or Rudy Rudy, Rudy Henry. Reverend Rudy Henry. From the original. He who saves one life. Saves the world's ministries. Um, God bless you today. I'm going to be making a whole group of videos. Because God will continue to make a way. Where there is no way. Thank God man didn't call me. So mankind fire me. God is my boss. And. He holds the, 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 the cattle on a thousand years. He is my provider, and thank God he is. If it wasn't for him, I'd probably be in the crazy house, in jail, in prison, in some soup line if it was up to men. But thank God it's not up to men, but to Jesus Christ today. God bless you today.